Boy, all right. We're at Rolling Road, Georgia, and uh, I just finished up my first session of the day. We got a total of four sessions, and we're here out today with uh, Just Track It. And uh, this is actually super affordable. I got vinyl numbers, 918 for my car. Um, uh, I've got the car set up. Uh, I, I really didn't think I'd get the car done in time, but I'm so glad I did. Uh, so let's talk about the first session, okay? So the first session, uh, I knew the Evo was super capable. I had no idea it was this capable though. Um, the brakes really surprised me. Like it's a factory style compound. Um, that was super surprising. And then uh, the fact that this car will scrub speed so quickly, it's insane. And then on top of that, you end up just, you know, when in doubt, throttle out with this car. And um, we did get, you know, a little bit of the tire scrub uh sliding around some of the corners but nothing too crazy uh i was really expecting more like deeper brake zones and the thing with rolling road is that it's all flat uh i think turn one slightly off camber uh and then turn eight and nine is slightly off camber uh we're in the paddock area by the way uh so that was a little unsettling but uh I, it's just me getting confident in the car um and that's what i'm really excited for so uh as the day goes on I'm going to tell you guys about my experience and what we are going to take away from this experience to apply to the next one. As you can see, I'm super sweaty right now. It's really hot out today. It's like uh, going to get to like 90. Um, so I did know that once I uh, come in from the paddock and I, I, I let the car cool down, uh, I want to make sure that uh, I don't leave up the parking brake and I don't uh, shut the car off right away. I want to let the oil and coolant circulate through the car. I might top off oil just a little bit um because it's right at the upper end of the fill mark but i don't want all the slosh to one side and then i end up uh spinning a bearing that would break my heart if that happened um so anyway uh we are going to uh just keep at it and and, and get progressively better throughout the day because that's my goal unfortunately i don't have my gopro so i won't be able to catch any uh actual road footage um so all the footage today is going to be from track side but i promise you guys next time i'm going to have some sort of onboard camera just so you guys can see uh, there's no way to set this camera up in this car without it flying all over the place and i really don't want to take that risk um not just because i want to i don't want to break the camera i just don't want for it to be a safety hazard and and hopefully you guys can understand that so anyway uh i'm gonna wrap this portion of the video up uh, i'm gonna finish adjusting my seat and uh my driving position i think i think where i have it at right now my clutch pedal is good i still have some bend on it but the clutch is really hard in this car so I might move it back one notch yeah that feels pretty good and then I might have to move the steering wheel up I was kind of death gripping the steering wheel I don't uh, I know which is a which is a bad thing but uh, yeah this feels this feels pretty good so uh, we're gonna roll with this anyway uh, yeah stay tuned Things off because it blew out. Uh, so, uh, hang on, let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus. Uh, all right, so right there where the uh, intake manifold is and the intercooler piping meets it, uh, blew out. So, uh, I'm gonna clean it off and get it back on there as best I can. Put a CV boot clamp on there, and then hopefully, everything's good to go.
home base. Home base being my RV. So, anyway, uh, let me see if I can get you guys to focus. Focus, all right, there we go. So, as you can clearly see, this is the intercooler piping. Right here, yep, the one that wiggled. That's the intake. That's the actual intake manifold. There's a clamp missing. It's gone. It's not there anymore. Um, it is what it is. Uh, also, the uh, radiator looks like it's uh, leaking a little bit. Let's see if I can get you guys to focus again. Focus, darn you. Focus. Anyway, I shove you guys down in there. Boom, look at that. Yeah, a little bit of coin there. That's not good, so I may or may not try to fix that. Uh, honestly, it really wasn't that big a deal. Um, so I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna offload it from the trailer. Um, if I do it, I should be able to get away with, uh, um, you know what? I should be able to get away with uh, draining the coolant down just a little bit, and then putting the old thermostat back in there. I'm gonna try that. And then I'm gonna place the clamps and hoses, and then I'm gonna go make pancakes. So uh, overall, day one is pretty good, pretty successful. Um, I got through two and a quarter sessions, and I went out for a session with my instructor in his car. Uh, he's got an S2000. Uh, he usually runs a Miata, but either way, it didn't matter. Um, so it was uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I learned a lot, obviously. Um, this car is super capable. Uh, I started in like the 140s, 130s or so. Um, my wife clocked my first lap of my last session at 137 and then I got down to a 132. My goal is a 127. Um, I think that's a pretty pretty decent lap. Um, so yeah we're gonna we're gonna roll with what we got and uh, fix this and uh, see how that goes.